of his fables. And Stan had written several uh, initial scripts for them as uh, playing characters out of Mother Goose. Then uh, the dreadful thing happened. Um, Oliver Hardy uh, got a, a stroke, of a devastating one. Olly sofreu um derrame paralisante em setembro de 1956. Ele lutou pela vida por quase um ano antes de sucumbir a uma série de ataques convulsivos. Ele morreu no dia 7 de agosto de 1957. Seu corpo foi cremado e suas cinzas enterradas no Jardim da Esperança, no Parque Memorial de Valalá. Stan is plunged into sorrow on two counts. His uh, dear friend and uh, co-worker and co-creator is gone and uh, the team of Laurel and Hardy is gone forever. Stan sentia falta dos bons tempos e passava horas respondendo pessoalmente às cartas enviadas por seus fãs. Ele também teve tempo de se dedicar a um passatempo esquisito. He would go out to a stationery shop and tour it rather. He would go through every aisle up and down looking at all the things, appreciating them and making uh, little notes to himself. And in one instance, we went to a stationery shop in Santa Monica, and the man behind the counter looked quickly as Stan came in, and his eyes followed him as Stan went around looking in. I said, may I help you? And Stan said, well, oh, I'm just looking at the moment. The fellow was certain he knew who that was. He said, I know you. You are... Um, Uh, and Stan said, Oliver Hardy. And the guy said, right, gee, Mr. Hardy, uh, you and, uh, and your friend, you, you and Mr. Laurel, you were so great. I mean, you're still great. I, I watch your movies all the time. Oh, Mr. Hardy, I can't tell you the laughs that you've given me. And then he paused and he said, oh, uh, uh, by the way, uh, whatever happened to Mr. Laurel? And Stan said, very solemnly, he went bombing. Em 1961, Stan recebeu um Oscar especial pelo conjunto de sua obra, apesar de não ter feito um filme havia mais de 10 anos. At that time, he had stopped making movies. And uh, you would think that, well, uh, Hardy is gone, so there's no more. Laurel and Hardy, as, as Stan said. But uh, there he was. He said, uh, I'll go on creating those gags until the day I die, which indeed he did. No dia 23 de fevereiro de 1965, Stan sofreu um violento infarto e morreu. O funeral realizado na Igreja das Colinas, em Los Angeles, contou com a presença de vários astros e estrelas. Stan descansa em paz, olhando o vale abaixo. Mas a história de Laurie e Hardy não termina ali. Em Uverston, cidade natal de Stan, existe um museu dedicado ao trabalho deles. A memória deles é mantida viva por legiões de fãs em todo o mundo, que se reúnem regularmente para rever velhos filmes e lembrar os gênios que foram Laurel e Hardy. Their comedy is timeless and uh, they are the eternal everyman, um, suffering at the hands of malevolent fate. Um, they are, you know, uh, and they're funny, of course. Um, Which is a good, uh, yeah. Laurel and Hardy just encompass everything that's great about comedy. They're, they're fantastic. Laurel and Hardy are easily the, the greatest comedy team that ever lived. I think most of us who have worked in comedy are consistently influenced by the voices of the preceding generations. Even if people haven't been directly influenced by Stan Laurel, they've been influenced by someone who's been influenced by someone who's been influenced by Stan Laurel. I think I'd be Ollie 
Yeah, I'd be Ollie, who was always affronted dignity and everything. I'm always bumping into things and trying to behave as if I meant to do it anyway. I would consider Laurel and Hardy both geniuses. They both contributed to Laurel and Hardy, an institution, and so I would say geniuses, or is it genius I? Whatever the plural of geniuses is. is. Shine on, shine on, harvest moon Up in the sky I ain't had no loving since January, April, June or July no time, take no time to stay outdoors and spoon. Shine on, shine on home.